Politically, the gamble was sold as innovation. A public-private partnership would supposedly keep costs lower and shield taxpayers from overruns. But it also meant that when things went wrong, and they did, spectacularly, the city would not simply step in and fix them. Ottawa had handed the steering wheel to private corporations whose main goal was protecting their bottom line. The moment problems appeared, that gamble began to look less like foresight and more like negligence. If turning control over to RTG was the city's first gamble, the second was the train itself. Ottawa chose the Alstom Citadis Spirit, a sleek European design that looked modern on paper but had never been used in North America. The French manufacturer re-engineered an older model to survive harsh Canadian winters. The city was assured it would work in heavy snow and freezing temperatures. But Ottawa became the guinea pig for a train that wasn't truly tested, 